Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. Um, the one before after this is the third one down. Upside down. Third one down. Fourth. 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 Okay. And we first, as we just we were discussing a second, have you guys seen the commercials for the new Star Wars stuff? Yes. Yeah. You think that's going to be on your Christmas list? Yeah. 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 What have you got? You got some toys already? Star Wars toys already? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have you? the land speeder. We have some of the men. You have Princess Leia? Yeah. You do? What do you got? Darth Vader. Okay. What do you think you're going to, are you going to go see the new movie? Yeah. 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 Even if they're real long lines? Yeah. Even yeah. if they're real long lines. You're going to make mom and dad go too? Yes. And then for Christmas, uh, what do you think you want to get out of for Christmas? Do you have any ideas yet? No, no not really. really. See the movie first. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask Mama a question here? Yeah. The Star Wars toys, uh, unsolicited uh, opinion here on, uh, do they play with them or are they fed? Yeah, they do. They use them, uh, the people. They make up their own sets with them. We don't have any of the big units, you know, uh -huh. that come. But they play with the people a lot. They make their own sets with the coffee table, with the couch, you know, they hide them and stuff like that. It wasn't one of those toys where it's fun for about 15 minutes and then into the toy box and that's it. Well, I tell you, I don't buy the big pieces with all the little pieces with it because I found that to the people and stuff like that, they use more. Mm -hmm. You know, not the big thing. Good she doesn't quality stuff? Uh, some of it. Some of it uh, breaks a lot, the plastic, you know. Th that's why we go for the little ones, you know. Durable and durable uh, more. Mm -hmm. more play value. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, happy Empire Strikes Back to y'all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do it like you had the license and rights. <laughs> you know the he, American, he had already had the project in the works. Rights and stuff. And they see cool rights. So it's the best way to put it on. That's the way in China you get carried fishing like one percent. Oh yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Yeah, you put the money right back into the next one. And this one he hopes to clear. Okay. Excuse me? 
We've had, and I'm sure you've gone through a lot of fad toys. Now, do these things, are they durable as playthings, both in interest and uh, design, etc.? I have found them to be quite durable. Most of the small figures have lasted, you know, from a year ago Christmas, and then we filled in again this Christmas. John has the uh, Battle Cruiser, and he has the 2XL computer. Uh, I don't know, he can probably tell you, with three kids, he can probably tell you more about what he has. We were just coming down the aisle because John had some uh, birthday presents and uh, to buy, so we were just going to hit the, the Star Wars. Always a good place to go for a good small present or whatever. Yeah, that's right, very good place. But they're interested, maintain the interest in the characters. Oh, absolutely. He still, well, we keep them in separate boxes, so he still uh, drags them out and sets his battle cruiser up and has all his little figures. As I say, they have withstood five or four, five, and six-year-old boys. So, well, let me ask you, sir, let's get your opinion of these toys and also the movie. You saw Star Wars, I guess. I didn't see much of it, but I saw half of it at my friend's house. He has a, he has a tape of it, but, and they switched it to a, um, to another part of it, so I didn't get to see all of it. How about the toys? You still like playing with the toys? What do you do with them? <laughs> I really take care of them. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's a good way to get some more too. But uh, do you like make scenes up from the movie or something like that, or make up your own stories? Or I what? make up my own stories. And then use the figures, move them around. Mhm. Mm Have you seen any commercials for the new stuff that's coming out, the new Star Wars stuff? I saw a couple of things. What do you think? I think they're good. You think it might make it on your Christmas uh, request list? Mhm. Mm Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Why don't you look over and see? I can't believe it's in the sister's raincoat, right? I don't think you want to. If you want to. You don't have to. <laughs> you can fool with them, you won't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> There's always the George Factory and the Hawk Ice Station that's coming out. I mean, it's just great. I mean, all the good stuff hasn't come out yet. Thanks again.
I noticed you browsing through the Star Wars figures, checking out the new ones. Is this uh, for yourself? No, it's for my eight-year-old son. He likes the stuff? He loves it. He's very eager to see the, uh, the Empire Strikes Back, which I know starts today. Can he get you to wait in line to take him to see it? Sure. I want to see it myself. How about the toys at home? Does he play with them? Is it a faddish thing, or did, uh, does it have a continuing play value, as they say? Well, it's a faddish thing, because uh, he has them, and his friends all have them, and so on. But uh, he's had several of the toys for quite some time now, like the, uh, the uh, space station, the Death Star station. Mm -hmm. He's had that for a year, and he still plays with it, so there's ongoing value in them. And you figure this is uh, going to be a big splurge this year with the new movie? I'm afraid it will be. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, are you too old for this Star Wars stuff? Well, uh, well, I wouldn't. I don't buy it for myself, no. Okay. Your friends uh, uh, don't. I've got a little brother who loves them. Mm-hmm. And he he uh uses them all the time. How about Give the movie? Home, and he'll pull the arms off and throw them around the house. <laughs> Wait, a minute, let me start it again. You're a little too old for this stuff, right? Right. But you got a little brother who likes this stuff. Right. What does he do with him? Well, he uh, invites his friends over, and they play around with them. Is he good with them, or do they abuse his toy, or what? Well, yeah, whatever a little kid does, they throw around the house, and, and they'll, but they'll, they might they sometimes play with seriously. Mm -hmm. Well, how about the older kids your age? I mean, nobody's collecting them like, you know, as a no. fad or anything? No, no one. Okay. They, they used in the beginning, mm -hmm. when they first came out. Now it's just getting old. Well, how about if, with the new movie? You think that'll change anybody's opinion? Well, if they bring out uh, new stuff, I probably yes. Even with kids your age, they might get it. It might. Uh, might. It might. Okay. Thank you. Job hard. You getting in on sound? That's what I think of this job. Line up there. What's doing that? I don't think we're being in the cloud. I wish I had a camel. I wish I had a white one.
<clears throat> Kenner makes all of the Star Wars toys like these. 40 million units sold in 1978, no slack in 79, another 40 million units, and who knows what this year is going to bring. It's enough to make your head spin, right R2-D2? Star Wars has been very good to Kenner, which makes most of the toys in the play sets. They sold 40 million units in 1978, another 40 million in 1979, and with the new movie they should sell even more this year. It's enough to make your head spin. Right, R2-D2? Star Wars has been very good to Kenner, which makes most of the toys and the figures. 40 million units sold in 78, the same number in 79, and with the new movie coming out, this year should be even better. It's enough to make your head spin. This is Peter Bannon. I'll have the story of the continuing business impact of the Star Wars industry. It's a big business. This is Peter Bannon. We're going to look at the big business side of Star Wars, both in the theater and here on the toy counter. And it is a very big business. I would like a commercial, so let's get some unsolicited opinions about the value of these Star Wars toys.
There she comes, run it on in, come on! Thank you. 
Did you ever talk with her any of these tries? I mean, how did you know about all these tries? I mean, that's how you, you pick out some specific things. How did you know about those? Because of my statement. <laughs> <laughs> what was the hardest thing about doing this? What was the hardest thing? Well. Ninja spirit makes you a master of ancient weapons and you'll lead everyone for your death. Legendary Axe 2 carries the original Smash hit to new heights of swashbuckling adventure. Bloody Wolf puts you in the middle of guts and glory combat. And military madness rockets you to the moon for the wildest strategy game yet. All this heavyweight excitement is ready to travel right... Yeah. 
Excuse me, I surely thought you said that. Wait. Yes, Al. Al, come to say with the. No, you don't have to do it. Be normal. Max already has a space mobile, you know. And those are big Legos, sweetie pie. Come over here for a second.
Et où il est le gamin Mais ça aussi on a un point. And then you turn it was going. Mm. Okay, let's go see if they got the other one before you get the other one anymore.
care how long you just hang out and watch this, huh? Yeah, that's cool. taping toys here what? for a video. section Baby Mickey Those, yeah, those will be worth something. Yeah, those will be worth big money. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. I have them in store. Are you doing it for a special? Yeah, Nancy, I, I already got permission. Okay, stuff, great. So. Thanks, Kelly. Sorry. 
machine. Phaser flexor. Hillbilly gun. Ranch Raiders. the last of Toys R Us. This is it. Be cool. All the toys are just about filmed.